Hey guys, this is Paul with Archie Film Fighters. We're getting ready to take up the FF Aurora again. We're out here in uh, Illinois flying with our friends, the Fairview Flyers. Um, I haven't flown this in a while. Um, last time I was making some weird noises. So just to see if it makes any difference, I closed off these open channels here. Just to see if it reduces the noise from the uh, motor. Uh, let's we'll see how it flies. You're on, man. <laughs> It does sound a little quieter, Paul. So what's your assessment with it shut off like that? Well, it sounds like it's a lot quieter. Before with those channels open, it would sound like there was something wrong with the motor. It made like a reverberating sound. How well does it glide? Yeah, I think me and Frank will be a little rusty today. We haven't flown in a while. <laughs> yeah, we haven't been out in probably about a month, I think. It definitely sounds quieter, Paul. Yeah, I think so. Especially well, even like when you're gliding I'll it. I'll make those changes with the final plans. Okay. Cool, cool. man. That was a test flight. Okay, yeah. like Paul said, we're here with the Fairview Flyers. So, what is this and who are you and what do you got? Well, my name is Eric and this is actually uh, Boxer Mad 84's uh, SU-37. I actually have it with the uh, 2400 KV Monster Jet. And it's going to be the first time I'm going to be trying it with a six by five five prop four cell so this cool. ought to be inter interesting all right yeah see, see how it goes <laughs> yep see how it goes sounds easier Battery up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so I was gonna say throttle management man with the 1800 in there. I think it flies just as well with the I was gonna say, I think it yeah. was uh, just as thrusty, if not more, with the seven yeah. uh, by what was the seven by five you were running before? Yeah, uh, yeah. This one I have a higher prop speed but less thrust. That is a pretty good sized plane, too. Yeah, a lot of funnel area on there, too. Right on. What do you think? I actually think it handles a little bit better with the 7.5. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think you had more thrust. Yeah, I think yeah. you need more thrust on that plane. Okay, guys, this is Frank's Mini Bird of Prey. It's probably one of the hardest films or planes to film. <laughs> It turns on a dime. I'll try and slow it down. She has, I guess her teacher, the way her teacher describes she her teacher said she can't figure it out, but Man, it's super touchy. I got the brakes <laughs> up high. <laughs> hey, squirrely dog.
Okay, this is just a Peregrine plane. This is the plane that was designed by Jock. I never did finish the uh, crane job on it. So what type of setup you got in the Peregrine, Jeff? I uh, had the uh, 1450 KV motor from a uh, Hobby King, but I burnt that out, so I just threw the, the Mega Jet on this thing. Okay, so you just got a Grayson Hobby Super Mega Jet right now? Yep. What are you running, 3S pack? Right now, a 3S 2230 or 40C uh, with the 75 prop. Gives it just enough for us to cruise around on. But uh, this plane is made for speed, so um, I know it's just, you know, kind of embarrassed to be flying right now. <laughs> it that wanna... still looks like it's flying pretty good, though. Yeah. It doesn't really want to be seen. Because <laughs> this is max full throttle right here. That is? Yeah. Cool. Nice landing. Looks like it floats pretty good, Jeff. Very well. So I need to finish the color scheme on it if I even have a scheme. But uh, 80 amps. You know, you don't need 80 amps. I just that's what I had. And here's the uh, the Mega Jet. Um, yeah, that's my setup. Just kind of tape the batteries in. Cool. Um, <laughs> doesn't take much to build these things. So, but there you have it. You're on. Ready? Yep. I love the sound of that thing, man. <laughs> right on. Let's go check his GPS. Right, that can be right. <laughs> what does it say? 170 miles an hour. What? <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. 
You got that right? Yeah, I don't know if that's right. That don't seem right. It's clocked 170 miles an hour. Seems like Is that miles an hour or kilometers? Man? That's miles an hour. Huh. That was See, it. max height, that, 498 man. meters. That's pretty high, man. Let's see. Flying time, 349. Pull out my conversion. 3.8 miles distance. 170 miles an hour, huh? Let's yeah. try it again. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. You got another battery, right? Yeah. You see the elevation you reached? You're on. All right, I got a Stick It 4 built back in 1994. Just went ahead, converted it over to electric, and see how she does. All right. What'd you say your name was again? I'm Tim. All right, Sorry Tim. What do you got power in that thing? Uh, it's one of the Turnigy Aero Drives, the 3542. What size prop are you using? Hey guys, I got my Skyfighter V3 out here. I swapped the motor out. I got the 1450kV, 1600 watt motor, and we're running on a 5 cell on here. It's one of the 6530C 5 cells. So let's see how it does. Oh, and the prop is a 7x8. <laughs> Corkscrew takeoff. <laughs> Little torque there. doesn't seem to be waking up with this. I think my timing might be still set at 15. What do you see you running that? The 90, 100 amp Hobby King HK. I don't know, that 7x8 prop, it seems to kind of bog the motor a little too. Yeah, I think I need to change the timing for this motor. It's not winding up. It's either the prop or the timing. That's a little wall there, man. And this thing doesn't feel like it has any power, man. You bring it in? Yeah, I'm just going to bring it in. Hey, Jeff. He's gonna get you a jump start. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's going to be a supernova. Whoa! 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 Man, that thing was hauling, dude. <laughs> you up flying upside down right now?
were talking about crashes and how these are much better when it comes to crashes. Man, it's all over the place. My camera, my camera skills have uh, kind of suffered too with the time I don't off. Have enough nerve to do that. <laughs> I want to see him do a high speed pass like that. <laughs> I, want to, I did. I would be behind time. my car. You bring it in? Yeah. Well, I was way over there, past it, I think. Yeah, you were over pretty far, man. Catch it. All right, man. Let's see if it gives a true reading this time. All right, let's go check the GPS this time. Okay, guys, let's see what it says on the GPS this time. What do you got there, Paul? Okay, this one was uh, recorded 145.4 miles an hour. Yeah, I think, I think that's, that's, that's probably closer to correct. And that's man. actually two miles an hour faster than I've uh, ever flown it before. So. Yeah, and you got higher C batteries. Yeah, so I think these batteries still need to be cycled what a couple times. What altitude did you hit? Uh, let's see. 480 meters. So yeah, you went higher last, last time. Last time a little bit, yeah. All okay. right, so about 145. That's pretty good, man. 